George Majorano here with American Male Wellness. I'm the Male Wellness Coordinator here. And I want to talk a little bit today about anti-estrogen or estrogen blocks. A frequently asked question we get here is if I do testosterone therapy, George, do I need to have something for estrogen? And it's not really a, a simply answered question. It's not a yes or a no. And really what we do is we, you come in and we do some diagnostic work with you, right? So, uh, and we find out where your levels are. You know, where's my testosterone? Where's my estrogen? Where's my DHT? And the thing is, understand this a little bit. We need to understand these three hormones. So patients that come in that are asking for these estrogen blocks, they may not need them, okay? Or they may not need an exogenous source or an outside source of testosterone. So once we have that diagnostic information, we can conclude whether you need testosterone or whether you need something that blocks estrogen or possibly need both. So let's just understand that. Testosterone actually converts to two other hormones. One is estradiol in the body. The other, the other one is dehydrotestosterone, other known as DHT. And a lot of times what happens is men, men that come in, you know, maybe a little bit younger in age rather than older in age, uh, are combating lower testosterone, but not because their body's not producing testosterone, more so because their body's converting a lot of that testosterone to these other two hormones. In that case, what we can actually do is block some of that with aromatase uh, inhibitors or with a, something called the CIRM, which is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. And that's a big fancy word. Basically, it blocks the receptor for estrogen. So if you have a lot of this estrogen floating around from your testosterone, obviously your testosterone is going to be lower and you have more, more estrogen. So just by combating that, we can actually increase your testosterone levels, get you feeling a little bit better. And obviously, once your testosterone levels come up, your estrogen levels come down, you start limiting some of the side effects. In addition to that, testosterone can also convert to dehydrotestosterone. And dehydrotestosterone is, is a little bit different, but we can recognize that dehydrotestosterone, most of the receptors are in your hair follicles, in your skin, and in your prostate. So for men... You know, this, and then also for women, but for mostly for men, I mean, typically a lot of men come in and, you know, they don't, they say, George, I don't want to lose my hair. Okay. <laughs> well, that could be a side effect. All right. So we can inhibit that with a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. All right. And that's just an enzyme that actually will convert the testosterone to hydrotestosterone. And we can utilize these things. So you can see where, you know, just taking something off the off the cuff and actually adding an aromatase inhibitor or an estrogen blocker or a DHT blocker um, really isn't the answer. You know, some patients are going to need it, some patients are not going to need it. But ultimately, the real course of what we're trying to do is optimize hormone levels. So you may be producing as much testosterone as you need, but you're not making it free in the body to be usable. So. The answer to this frequently asked question is yes and no. Depending upon what's happening in your body and depending upon if your body is actually producing testosterone or not, and whether it's con converting that testosterone or not, would be the answer. And ultimately, that's what we do here. We, we actually diagnose that, we figure that out, and then, of course, we create an individual plan for you. So I hope this kind of clears things up about whether you should take an estrogen blocker or a DHT blocker when you're taking testosterone therapy uh, just off the cuff or, you know, whether I should be using it or not or, you know, and clear up that kind of, you know, misconception of everybody on testosterone therapy should be using an estrogen blocker or a DHT blocker. Thank you.